When Jenny jumped on an ATV here in Bali, the last thing she expected was she was going to end up being flown home with a fractured spine. And unfortunately, um, this does happen with adventure sports, with people um, going outside their comfort zone or just having a bit of fun, having a bit of an adventure. And almost every day you hear about these uh, GoFundMe pages being set up for people who are uninsured, people who were drunk and riding um, mopeds or scooters all around Bali and being, being yobbos. But in this case, Jenny's a mum from Western Australia who grew up um, with on farms and riding uh, ATVs all the time. She was competent, she was sober, she was out there with her husband having a great time in one of the, the guided tours through the jungle of Bali. And unfortunately, she had a mishap, she ended up hurting herself, that turned into a fractured spine. And this story is about what happened from that moment to get her back to Australia which is, it's, it's important to understand the steps that's taken because if you're coming over here with no insurance, you're, in, you're insane. Honestly, the cost of insurance is a couple of hundred dollars compared to the cost of getting you back home. And in Jenny's case, she was fully insured, but there were still complications. She didn't have the cash on her. In fact, she didn't even have her insurance number on her. And we had to go through a whole rigmarole to get her fixed up so she could get back to Denpasar from the tour company or from the hospital in Ubud. I'll like tell you what, I'll leave her to tell a story. Um, I hope you enjoy. We're going to do a whole series on insurance. To be honest, there's so many stories, there are so many discussions. Yes, there's a lot of irresponsibility happening over here, and the GoFundMe page is a, look, a good or a bad way of, of, of salvaging it. But do you know if you go to the Australian Embassy and you're critically injured in hospital, they can't give you or loan you funds to help you get repatriated to Australia? So you could die in a hospital in Bali simply because you didn't spend a couple hundred bucks on insurance. Very, very important topic. Um, I'm also going to be later on talking about um, insurance for people who want to live in Bali long term, the local insurance in Bali, which is a really good system, um, and also other insurance topics because honestly, it's one of the biggest discussions that you seem to have here at the pubs with both locals and visitors alike. So sit back, enjoy Jenny's story, and um, I hope you enjoy your time. Guys, when you're on holidays, the last thing you want to do is have something go wrong. And unfortunately, it does sometimes. A good friend of mine who was out with us two nights ago at the seafood um, feast in Jimbran took a tour, a registered tour on an ATV. And unfortunately, just as, as circumstances have it, she ended up running up the back of an ATV that was in front of her and she was ejected out of the seat of the ATV and, and fractured her spine. Now, terrible circumstances are one of those tiny, tiny things that can go wrong. But I just wanted to share her story because not only is it, am I so proud of the wheels that got put into motion through my friends, but her story is just something that you guys should be aware of if you're coming to Bali, and especially if you're gonna do any adventure sports, and God knows I've done them all in the last couple of weeks, but things can go wrong. So I just want to welcome Jenny. Um, live from her hotel room. Now she's out of hospital today. She's got a brace on her. She's got a fractured spine. We've got x-rays fractured, here on the table. Fractured vertebrae. Fractured vertebrae, sorry. And just tell us what happened, if you can. Um, yep, I booked the um, same um, ATV ride that you'd done on your yeah. vlog through um, Couture at KW Tours. And um, we got picked up, we went there. Um, I was about 10 minutes into the ride, going down a steep like hill, had both brakes on, and the um, bike just got momentum, even though I had the brakes on. Went into the um, guide spike. The momentum, I kept my hands on the, um, the um, handles and then went head first straight over but hit my chest on the metal carry bars yeah. and then got flung backwards wow. back into my seat but luckily I kept my hands on. Wow. And so the whole thing just happened like that? Just like that. Yeah. When did you know there was a problem? Straight away. Oh wow. Straight away. I was in total, total agony. Wow. Like, so, so how did they deal with it at the time? Did they have to helicopter you out or were they able to no, get no, you No, no, no. They, unfortunately, 
the only way out is to get back to where it began at the village. So um, one of the guides jumped onto my bike and there is no other way out. Yeah. He had to ride the basically 10 minutes in, so 10 minutes out. With you on the back? With me on the back, holding on to the bars on the back. And he stopped a couple of times because I think I actually blacked out. Why? And Jeez. so I went floppy. And yeah, so you the helmet stuff on as well? Helmet and <coughs> the brilliant thing about this place is they have insurance um, and they make sure your helmets are fitted correctly. Right, yeah. Because, so, I mean, let, let's just say, there are hundreds of places now doing ATV tours because there's a heap of people who work that, hey, these are actually a good little money spinner. And if you don't go to the right ones, you could end up in an absolute whole different place than where you are now. So let's just keep going through the story because this is really important. From that point, you got back to the ATV tour. Yep. They've got you straight to the hospital. Straight to the hospital. They just said In, in Ubud, so which is that we're out in the middle of nowhere, sort of thing. Guiana or something. Yeah. It's where they do it. Yep. Um, straight to the, um, yep, straight to the hospital. They, I remember, um, because of like the road bumps, um, the lovely lady from the tour, um, company, she just had her hand around and, um, around me just comfortingly. Yeah. Um, then straight into the hospital. Then there was a problem. I didn't have a copy of my passport on my phone. Right, now, I'm sorry to say, I've said to everyone, and I don't mean to be lecturing you, but for God's sake, if you're coming, if you're traveling internationally, take a photo of your passport, take a photo of your driver's license, any documentation that you need, you need to take a photo of them and, and then email those photos to an email account like a Gmail or a Yahoo yes. or something, so that no matter where you are in the world, you can actually go into that letterbox and retrieve them, just in case you ever need something like that. That's right. Um, so fortunately, um, the hotels um, are meant to take a copy of your passport. Right. Because the um, hospital wouldn't deal with you without details. No, nope, even though this was um, private and covered by the um, insurance of the ATV place, but they um, rang straight away. They rang um, the hotel. Yep. And then the hotel had to speak to me to authorise them to send a copy of the front of my passport. So uh, this is another thing that, um, that Jenny was telling me about before. Apparently, she's been on the phone to her insurance company all day and she's had so many d things to deal with while sitting here with a fractured spine, um, <laughs> which is more of a head worry than, than you could imagine. But... If the, if the tour company or if the, the tour operators, like the ATV company, didn't have insurance, then her insurance from Australia wouldn't be paying her a cent. So she could be facing a $40,000 return trip to Australia in a care flight without the necessary uh, uh, safeties. Now, thank God, the nature of the injuries is such that she's wearing a full back brace. She actually feels better sitting up than, than lying down where there's putting pressure on the brace. But I'm, th as soon as I heard what had happened, I, I put whatever wheels I could in motion. And, and the first thing I did was got onto my buddy Katut, who was already aware of what's going on. And between myself and, and Katut's team, we, we dot, did everything we have to. Now, this is, I'll put this, this camera back down because I'll tell you what, I haven't heard of any, any company in Bali that does this. And I'm so, so grateful and so proud of Katut, the guy from KW Tours. Um, he went out uh, over and above what anyone I've known was done. Now, it was a simple thing. They couldn't let you out of hospital the, without the a brace. brace. Yep, and the brace um, is not hospital costs or medication costs. So the ATV insurance didn't immediately cover it. And it's so not a case cover of, it full stop, yeah. I had to pay for it. So it's something that, a cost that you had to, to, to cover, and your, obviously your health insurance will deal with this all later. Let's not oh, worry about yes. I'm the long term. About, they've already told but me But here's the problem. Thing. Your passport and your details and your cash was all locked back here in the hotel. And my ATM card. My so card. so you didn't have the facility to just suddenly come out with seven and a half million rupees, or, or 750 bucks. Yeah. Um, 
So guess what happened? My mate at Katut paid for the brace from here so that they could ship it up immediately by courier to Ubud so you could get home. Which took two hours. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Like, really, uh, I don't know. I, I was just saying, look, Katut, I know you're my brother and I've, and I've backed you all the way and you've absolutely come up trumps every single time. I've, I've never heard of a company going out of their way, putting their own money up front just to help out, even though he had no resp responsibility or direct liability. He obviously recommended a tour operator that had insurance that was covered, yes. but he did every single thing. And again today, whatever was he's necessary, helped. he's been on the phone to me, to you all morning, what can we do? And that's the beauty of having a network of people over here. He's helped with the um, my um, travel insurance for the brace, travel insurance also needed um, information, um, from the actual ATV company yep. about their insurance and an incident report. So Katut has been onto that and got me all, which took him nearly all day, yeah. being on the phone and got me. I just came back from talking to another mate, Ashy, and, uh, and he was over at Katut's last night and, and Katut was just so focused on, on trying to get everything sorted out and, and, yeah. and make, make sure you're looked after. Um, he genuinely does care about everyone that oh, comes through his business. And even and like, I have, didn't have phone credit. Like, um, I only had um, SIM data credit, yeah. I didn't have um, talk credit, which I needed to initially to speak, to or to speak to the, um, yeah, the insurance company. Yeah, yeah. So he just put it straight on my yeah. phone and I oh, yeah, come fix me up later. Just um, Luckily I'm just around the corner from KW2, I was in, in uh, Legion. And I'm going to go there next and have a chat to Katut and just thank him from my heart and from yours as well. Yes. He's an incredible I hope you guy. get well soon. She will get well. Speedy recovery. I will, yes. Do, they, do you know what's going to happen now? Are you um, heading yeah. home shortly? Or you... I, I'm not actually sure. It's up with the insurance company um, has, they're just waiting. Um, now they've got to assess it all. I will have to go to the international hospital mm. and have... Um, actual more scans, more in-depth things because I have to get a travel certificate to, to, be, able to, to be able to get home. And, and to sit up uh, upright in an airplane and seat could be a, you probably have to go back business class or something. Yeah, and so travel insurance will cover all that. They will decide <sighs> Guys, if I have to go straight I can't, can't emphasise enough. If you come overseas without adequate travel insurance, um, you're, in, you're insane. What, what costs a couple hundred dollars or what's covered by ACC or some local you know, accident compensation, whatever, Medicare, in, in your country can cost tens or sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars. I know people who have had to start to get a, a, a Give-A-Wish Foundation or, or whatever just to be able to get home. It could be that you need a business class or a, a lounge or, or a, a possibly, depending on what happens and, and how things settle down. You might need a care flight, special flight straight Yes, home. well, until I actually have the, God, the scans yes. that weren't done in yeah. Ubud, they won't, if, if, this, if they decide it's not, if there's a risk of it not being stable, yeah. Um, then, yeah, it will be a care flight home. Jenny, I'm so glad that you're still here. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, it I'm, could have, I, yeah. yeah, I, um, it could have been It could have been a life-changing event. It could have been, and it wasn't. And, um, it's a life affirming event. Thank you so much to, to my my team behind me because the, the reason I the reason I recommend these guys is because they've proven themselves to me that they're genuine. They really really are nice people. They are, and they're doing everything they can to look after the relationship with me because they know that I'm helping to bring really good tourists back over there. So look from my heart, thank you, Katut. Thank you, everyone that was involved, the driver um, and and the wheels in motion they got to be able to get the brace back out there and everything else. Yeah, now his driver was with us for like 12 hours. Wow. Didn't complain, offered to Who get... was that? Was it Nyaman? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not... And listen, all of his drivers are fantastic. Honestly, they're the best yeah, guys. Yeah, I just... I know, imagine I there's, a big, really... there's a big tip coming. <laughs> hmm? Oh, I, I gave him a big tip. Oh, great. Too. Guys, Yes. What a, a horrible story with some... Um, some pretty tough, tough paperwork to be able to have to do, and thank God it wasn't bigger than it was. And you're still here. 
Yes. And, and now we're going through the process of making sure you get home safely so yep. you can come back over next year. But um, as soon as I got the call and heard that you'd fractured your, your spine, I went, oh shit, what's going on? Yeah. Um, we'd only had dinner with her like a couple of hours earlier, so be careful if you're over here. If you're doing a tour, for God's sake, you do a registered or a, a proper tour. Don't go by the guy down the road or don't, just do some homework. Find out if they're insured, find out if, if it's a reputable company. Go with someone like a Twit because they've been doing it for 20 years. I went to the, the water sports 25. park. 25. Yeah, we went to water sports park in Vanilla the other day and the guy that was running the parasailing has been running the parasailing for 25 years. Remember, Katort has been going out there for years. Yeah. And that's the difference between going with some guy at the side of the road or some guy that walks in a hotel and sells you a cheap ticket. Katort's probably one of the cheapest in the market because he's done all of them all for 25 years and everyone respects him and he knows which ones are the good ones to go and which ones aren't. He so. does. And he also, if you um, tell him that you're a friend of yours. Absolutely. He does. He, he does go above and beyond. He and does. And he also will give you a discount, yep. which is great. And he's still donating a bag of rice to every single person who that buys, buys a SIM card. card. He donates five kilograms of rice for us to take up to the village like we did on Sunday this week, where this time we're up in Armoured. Um, I can't, I can't stress enough how important it is to, to make sure you're covered and that you go to the right places. So if it, this is the, not only a, the best ad I've ever heard for, for re, reputable businesses, but a fantastic outcome given yes. what could have been a tragic um, situation. So, and, and the peace of mind, the, the knowing there was someone there at the end of the phone that was going to deal with it. As soon as you got on to me, I said, look, live with me, I'll get a look at it. Yep. I knew straight away as soon as he got that phone call, He'd be on the ball, no and matter what. And he rang me straight away. Yeah. As soon as you hung up, before you could even message me back that you'd got in yeah. touch with him, he was on the phone to me. And that peace of mind, knowing that you, you're okay. She's still the nurse, is still <laughs> sorting you out with the back, and I was, I'm talking to her by, by Zoom call or by, by message. Yeah. And I said, look, don't worry about it. You wait there, I'll get on a katut. We can sort out getting uh, fix, things fixed up. It just, yeah, it's more important that, yeah, that you're safe and that you're happy, so. Yes. Yeah. You're so lucky. Incredible. I, I am very lucky. Thank you. Another, another day yeah. in paradise. <laughs> Something to laugh about one day, darling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, one day. Thank you, little Bye. brother. Love your work. Thank you, Kato. For about the last eight months, I've been talking about a mate of mine, Kato, from KW Tours. And what they are is a Tours and activity, basically a travel agent for anyone in Bali to do any of the activities and tours you want. They can get you across to the other islands, they can rent your scooters, they can look after you, they can even rent accommodation for you. And I want to tell you about an incident that happened the other day. Now, one thing you've got to understand, some of the tours here are dangerous. Yes, they're, they're, they're adventure sports, you're things like whitewater rafting and ATVing and, and that has some inherent danger with it. Now. If your, tour, if your tour goes well and everything's all good, there's no dramas. But if something happens to go wrong that's outside of what you can deal with or what you can control, then you want to hope to God you had someone like this guy here over my shoulder, little katoot, backing you up. And I'll tell you why. A couple of nights ago, a very close friend of mine and one of my subscribers has been over here for a few weeks helping people up in Bali and doing a really good job supporting some of the local um, charities and stuff up here as well. She went on an ATV tour with Katort. Now, it was the silliest thing. They went down a hill. The person in front of her stopped. She went into the back of them. She was wearing a helmet. She flew out of the seat and back into the motorbike and she set, um, fractured her spine. Now, that could have been a life-threatening injury. Uh, luckily, it wasn't, and luckily it was moderate. But a broken back is a broken back. Immediately, Katort and the team that, at the ATV company went into action. So they got her out of there, they got her to hospital as, as, as quick as possible without doing any further damage to her back because they weren't sure how serious it was, obviously. And the next problem, and it's a silly thing, but when you go freshwater or adventure touring or swimming, you don't necessarily bring your passport and all your credit cards and your money with you. So she got on to me and said, Mars, what the hell do I do? She was still in the, in the um, emergency ward at the hospital. She goes, I can't 
they can't release me from this hospital go back into Denpasar until I get a back brace and I, I need about $700 to buy a back brace. So, so what can I do? I rang up my mate Katut. Within minutes, he had organized payment to the hospital direct for the back brace, organized a driver to get the brace and everything up there, sorted her out and had her back here looked after before she knew what had happened. Now, that, that service is over and above. He used his own money to pay for the brace, knowing full well that it'll get sorted out in a wash, but his, his primary concern was to look after one of his customers and also to look after one of my buddies. Yeah. <laughs> so, listen, Katut, from, my, from the yeah. bottom of my heart, listen, you know, I say, I've said this a hundred times, but I am so grateful for, for what you did for Jenny. She's, she was in a horrific position. She was in so much pain and she just knew that she had one person to talk to and they could deal with it. Yeah. And that guy was you. Um, so for helping me, and I just jumped into action and said, okay, what do you need? I'll be there, I'll pick it up, I'll drive it up there. But, but you had it all under control. Yeah. Um, and even, even just helping out after that with contacting hospitals and, and putting credit on SIM cards so she could ring her insurance coming back in Australia. Look, it's turned out to be a big mission for her. Um, she's not paralyzed. She's in a lot of pain and she's still sorting out what's happening with the insurance. Um, so we're not going to put this to air until we've actually, till she's okay, until she's back at home and, and whatever. But I, look, I just really want to, while it's fresh in my mind, I was, sat down with her yesterday and had a really good long talk to her and she just, she can't be ever any more thankful for the support. And there's a couple of things that she said that were really critical. Now, I believe that she's with RACV or something. She's one of the major insurance companies. They were fantastic. However, their limitations are the paperwork and everything's got to be dots and crosses, especially with something serious as that. And they've said to her, don't worry, we'll get it sorted from our end. Um, all we need you to do is give us the paperwork and, and the reports and everything from this end. So Katut's been helping with as much as he can from this side. But here's one of the important things. If the tourist company, if the ATV company or the whitewater rafting company doesn't have its own insurance, isn't a registered body or isn't a recognised tour and it's just a guy with a shed and a couple of four, four by fours or something, her insurance wouldn't have covered her for a cent. Now at this stage we don't know if she's going to have to be care flighted back home, if she can sit up in an aeroplane seat for five or six hours or what the story is, so we'll wait and see how that goes. But Katut's got insurance. All of his tour companies that he supports have also got insurance and that gives you an extra level of protection. So at least the immediate urgency is taken care of. I can't stress enough, that could have been a life-changing emergency just because of the potential severity, the costs involved and and the process just to get it dealt with. And it was it was handled with, with class, it was handled immediately. And Katur, yeah. he's been doing this for 25 years nearly. Yeah. And, and there's a reason why he's the best in the business. KW Tours on the main street of Legion. If you want someone who's gonna support everything you do and look after you, and the first thing you get, something goes wrong, he's big gonna be on the phone, Maza, Maza, what do I do? But honestly, he knows what to do, I'm just joking. He is an amazing guy, and I'm just so grateful. Thanks, Katur, yeah. from Jenny, for, from all of us, from Robbie and that, um, and just on behalf of me, she's a friend of mine, and you've helped her incredibly well, so. You're a bloody legend. Thank you, brother. I can't do thank anything you, yeah. but thank you. This isn't an ad, this is genuine. This guy helped us save this lady's life, especially when she really, really needed it. And I don't know places in Bali where you get that level of service. There's not, honestly, there's not many. Bali's a lovely place and everyone's out here trying to make a dollar, but I really don't know many places where you'll get that much personal care and attention, immediately snap into action making sure that she's got everything she needs, making sure that she's got enough cash to cover what she needs to do. And, and look, honestly, above and beyond, I've, yeah. You, you should be commended. If there was a plaque or an award, you definitely have it by now, brother. So I just want everyone to know when they, when they back this guy. When I back someone, I back them because they're bloody good blokes. And look at this fella here. That's as good as they get and when it comes to the guys in Bali. Honestly, I, I just love going out on the tours with you because you really do make it fun. You're an amazing person. You've got a great business. And I'm so proud that since Katut and I have sort of paired up and he's, he's been helping me, I've been helping him put some tours and, and up. His business is going great guns and he's still donating. I'll show you what he's doing. He's still donating these bags of rice. Now, here's a five kilo. There's a SIM card. That's a five kilo bag of rice. That's about five or six bucks worth. If you buy a bag of, a, a, a SIM card off Katut, 
How much for a 35 gigabyte here? Uh, 200,000 rupiah, around uh, 20 OC dollars. Okay, so there you go, 35 gigabytes on a SIM card costs you 20 bucks. Now, if you're not a, that's if you say you're a fan of Muzzers, if you're not a subscriber, how much? Uh, around 500 or 400 or as much as he can get <laughs> 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 twice the price, <laughs> twice the price. Yeah. so honestly and what he does is he'll sell it to you for 20 bucks and then he'll donate six bucks of that so pretty much 100% of the profit goes straight to a bag of rice so that when we go up to the villages we can hand them out to people that are less fortunate than these guys so wow like I, it's an amazing it's a little family run business his mum and her little g'day. Yeah. Hey, how's that? G'day. <laughs> having some nasi, having some chicken. Oh, and a fantastic staff. They are all so good. They're the people that are going to help you on your tour. The drivers are just amazing. I've dealt with nearly all of them. Um, and they're, they're, they're a great bunch of guys. Um, and honestly, there isn't a tour in Bali. If it's not here, don't do it. I'll tell you right now. Because he will turn around and deny any tour that isn't up to scratch or up, up to standard. If he gets bad feedback, he'll go out there, go on the tour himself and make sure. You don't get that anywhere, except right here. Main Street of Legion, or Cuda. There's um, Bella Italia across the road. You've got the Mercure Legion here, there. And you've got um, <laughs> hotels, uh, Grand Mass just over there. And there we are, KW Tours, right near the corner. Can't miss it. And if you want, you can buy t-shirts, thongs, flip-flops, whatever you call it, sunglasses, handbags, everything you need to buy, you can buy just around the corner. There's a money changer just about across the road. And some bloody good blokes in there. I'm proud, I'm really grateful that the story was a good one. It was, it, it could have been a lot worse, um, but when you're back to the right team, it's, uh, yeah, you get the right rewards. Fantastic.